All right, guys. So this is my presentation on Taco Bell Scanning. It is a this is a piece that we're playing in the advanced band. So, William. All right. So this is him. I'm gonna adjust this for you. Bring it down. Can you guys see that top part? Yes. Yeah, Okay. So this name, this name is actually Johan. Johan, yeah, Johan. J O H A N N. That's on the worksheet. First three one. He was a German composer. Um, everyone knows this piece. This is a huge piece. This is basically the piece that you first talk to kids about to teach them how to do a canon, which we'll talk about. Yeah. Yeah, Johan, right there. I can't see the last letter. It's two N's. Yeah, two N's. Yeah, right here. This is right there. Yeah, sorry for the whole board thing being all weird. Alright. Okay. Damn, this is completely off. Okay. Okay, whatever. So. The instruments that he used originally for this piece is the uh, violin. So he had three violins on there. So that's what the, it is in the yellow. And then he used what's called a basso continuum. That's kind of a complicated word. But basically, it just means that something is going on. It's a low voice, like a tuba. And it's a bass voice that's going on all the time. Is that better? Yeah. All right. So basso continuo, it's something, it's a low voice, like if a tuba had a riff the whole time, it's exactly the same, kind of like you guys have for your, uh, your renaissance there. So that, that can be considered a basso continuo, and just you'll hear when we play a song at the end, that the basso continuo is going to be in the harpsichord and string bass. It sounds like bum, 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 bum. So you'll hear that. And then over here on the left is a picture of a harpsichord. So a harpsichord is, so you have a piano right here. It looks similar to a piano, but a piano is technically a percussion instrument. A piano, yeah. A piano is played by a hammer. You press the key and the hammer hits a string or a thing holding a string. And that's what makes the sound. Uh, a harpsichord is a string instrument as opposed to a percussion instrument, because it's like a little claw thing, it's like a little hook, and it plucks the string. So it's like you're playing guitar, but it's like on the piano. So, harps go similar to a piano, but it's like a plucking sound instead of a hitting sound. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. It's just considered a percussion instrument because how you define an instrument is how the sound is created. And the sound is created through an impact, through a hit, which is what makes a percussion. But you're right, it, does, it is kind of in between. It's one of those like gray lines that is only, you know, it's only because of the hammer that makes a percussion. But or else it would be a string instrument. Um, and then these down here are basses and basses. They're giant violins, and then this one up here is a violin. Huh? What are they Which one? The bottom one's a string bass, or a double bass. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so the important word is again on that spot. So this, this music was written in the Baroque era, very long time ago. People think of it as 1600s, but it goes back a few years before that, so 1590. So, this so I'll spell it out for you. So it's B A R O Q. Correct. B A one sec. B A R O Q U U U. So the French Revolution happened in this area. No, it was a little after. All right. Yeah. So this this right here is a picture. This is this is broke artwork. Uh, Baroque. Yeah. Baroque music. Very important time. This is Bach. You guys probably haven't learned about Bach yet, but when you get to Mr. Walker in high school, you will learn a lot. <laughs> you have basically all of your warm-ups are Bach for our warm-ups. You'll, you'll, learn, you'll learn about Bach in high school, don't worry about that. We'll do Baroque right now. 
say you're playing your D and then someone else is playing, one of the other planets is playing a B flat and you guys are playing the same rhythm, just the different notes. That didn't happen before this. So, yeah, yeah, or, or like there would be a drone and then there would be a melody over. You know what I mean? So, so, that, so yeah, so you guys play like that all the time, but they did it back then. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we'll, and we'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why are you using the picture of the Yeah. Because it'll be funny. Yeah, it's awesome. Because it's awesome. How many people play in Sassy Street? Me! Alright, hands up. Get Shadows of Mordor. It's a Sassy Street version of Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, I've seen that game. Awesome. Alright, anyways, back to this. Uh, what are we on? Canon. Can it? Two or more voice in or instruments playing the same music starting at different times. So a canon with, you'll hear Pock Bell's canon. Basically, you have this music, and like the flutes will start with it, and then the clarinets will have it, but like two measures later, and then the trumpets will have it like two measures later, and you'll start each at different times, but you'll be playing the same music. And then a type of canon, which is what Pock Bell's canon is, is a it's a round. So round is a type of cannon. It's a specific type of cannon. So cannon is like the big overall term. And then a round is a small type of cannon. And if, yeah, exactly, he's singing it. Row your boat. So row your boat. Uh, yeah, yeah. So when, what happens when you get to the end of Roll Your Boat? What can you do? You roll it. You start again. So, you roll it. No. Yeah, so that's what happens with Roll Your Boat. You start again, and that's what makes it a round. Yeah. I don't know. What's, a, what's that? Maybe because you restarted. Kind of. Kind of, it usually has more words than that, but that could be a really basic version. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to run to it? Do you like this or run to it? Yeah, it's a type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so this, this song, so you basically, it, it sounds good. Yeah, so a round is a type of song, and it sounds good when you're singing it at different times. And it can restart, which makes it a specific type of canon, and Papa Bell's canon has that. That is. Yeah. No, you don't have to write every three times. You don't have to write one. All right. Oh, Yeah, basso continuo. 
So like I was saying before, basso continuo, continuous bass line. So continuous bass line um, just happens over and over again. In this piece, they only have like eight notes the entire song, and they just play the, the bass part plays those same notes over and over. This in music, a basso continuo, just like a cannon is a big term, and then a round is a type of cannon. The big term for a basso continuo is an ostinato. Ostinato. Percussion plays ostinatos all the time. You just don't know that that's what it's called. Uh, so yours is called a rhythmic ostinato because you play rhythms. So, yeah, exactly. If you're playing drum set in a band, if you hear any of your bands that you like to listen to and they're playing a drum beat, they're playing a rhythmic ostinato. So an ostinato is repeated musical phrase or rhythm. So you can have a rhythmic or a melodic ostinato. No, you want to be a jump set player, it's okay. So, yeah, so rhythmic or melodic ostinato, and this one is a melodic ostinato because there's notes. So, but all you gotta know is this, the bass is the bass of continuo, the rest of it's on the beat. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, so type of ostinato. Alright. Alright, let's let's listen to it. Yeah, you know where it's from, huh? Yep. Quinceañeras, where else would you hear this? Funeral! Wedding! Maybe a wedding, funeral. Quinceañera, 316, weddings, funerals. Is he still alive? Show me after. Is he still alive? 